So that's it, chat. Um, as you all witnessed, I'm uh, I'm now free of fear and hunger. I don't have to play anymore. I can just return to my my normal life, and I can I can stop doing these streams, and I can go back to when things made sense. I didn't, I didn't think about this game so much. I didn't use this game as a way to escape the real problems that I have to face. I can go be a good husband and friends and son and figure out this deep emptiness inside me. Or... We could get right back in there. I want to do ending A and B. And I think the time to start that is right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But um, I want to hold a poll for who we should play as. To play Dungeon Knights mode, enter the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Who we playing as, chat? Who we starting this whole miserable journey again with? Outlander and Mercenary are coming in. They're there pretty hotly contested. Oh, you know something else I want to do? I want to kill Crow Mauler. We have never killed Crow Mauler on stream. Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing. Oh, man, it is close between Outlander and Mercenary, but I think Outlander might have it. Killing Crow Mauler is necessary for Outlander ending S. Oh, hey, really? thanks for subscribing. All ending nests must be played on hard mode. Okay, chat, do we want to start a new run in Terror Starvation, or do we want to take oh, a peek hey, at hard mode? Because we can do that. Peek it hard. Peek it hard. I don't think we need to call a poll for this one. We are, ladies and gentlemen, finalists. Oh, hey, We're going in on hard. No. New game. So, we're going to call him John. Because I like that. I think it's funny. Oh, I wish I'd called him John Cena. That would have been so funny. Um, yeah, fair play, Karnahai. Axe and shield. Does anyone know if the bow and arrow is actually good? I used it before and I thought it was kind of kind of sucked. Uh, to bury your fallen comrades. Um, take souvenirs from Vinland. Oh... Okay, fuck it. Like, I'm not expecting this to be a big run. Oh, nice. Okay. So, I don't know anything about hard mode. I'm stuck up on equipment. Food and items. Uh, let's stock up on equipment. Three iron is buried. It's hard. Well, I, you know, Chad, I, I, I puzzled that much out. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything looks fairly normal so far. Five tinder boxes. Cheese. Blue vial, nice. Blue vial, okay, there's the dogs. Well, we knew they were coming. Cool, 
cool, cool. Okay, this is all looking, this is all looking pretty, sim pretty, pretty similar so far. Good stuff. Uh, what kind of layout we got going here? Chrome Mauler is a pushover if you know the strats. So my strats with Crow Mauler are red vial to the eyes, poison him, and chop off his arms. And I would still not consider him a pushover with that because he can still he can still get lucky and instant kill one of your characters. Huh. Witch suck. We have activated Witch suck. Um. I don't know I've ever had Witch Soak activate there, which is unusual. Oh, we're not going to have to fight her, are we? No, we're okay. Red Herb, cool. Iron Arrow, cool. Um, um, hey, John, about that skip. Uh... One, can you remember the difficulty you were playing on that run? And if so, was it two? Can I PM you on Twitch or Twitter when I have the answer, which should be tonight or tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah. Send me a message on Twitch. Um, it was on terror. It was terror and starvation. I'm curious to know, like, how known is that 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 can happen? Because I I'd never seen anyone mention it, and chat seemed fucking befuddled that it was happening. Um, did you watch any of Sea Dog's video? Um, I yeah, I, I I watched. I didn't watch his videos, but I did watch him play on stream a couple of times. It was very entertaining. Sea Dog's a good dude. He's coming to Ireland. Um, at the he's coming to Ireland at some point in the next month, and I'd say we're gonna grab some dinner or something. Ugh, not worth it. Okay, so we know that there's a captain in this area. Fear and run uh, SGDQ when oh nobody wants that a fear and a fear and hunger speed run oh nice lucky coin a fear and hunger speed run for me would be very sad they would have to change the name of that event um did you know that you can get to Lagarde through the prison cells if you bust down the northmost cell I know that but generally I find you have to get pretty lucky to have the strength to do that early on. Um, if you have a party, it's doable, but by the time you have a party that's like consistently capable of that, I think you're nearly better off you're you're nearly better off just continuing on whatever path you're on. That's my experience anyway. Oh whoa! Crazy good pickup there. Two light blue vials. Those are ba that's basically two total health potions. They're not total total health. Where's the f okay there he is. Red vial. Oh, nice. Uh, explosive vials aren't as important this time around because I'm not trying to get Lagarde, so we can kind of just take it at our own pace. Is he playing on hard mode? Yes, I am. Nitroglycerin powder. Still never figured out what the deal with nitroglycerin powder is. Never found a use for it. Let's start rolling these dice. Oh shit, is this the glitch table? The cursed sh Ooh, not bad! Um, Z, old MTTV. Hey John, have you ever heard of the Lobotomy Corporation? I'm currently playing it because it was recommended to me after Fear and Hunger and it's destroying my life and marriage. Sold! Oldman, sold! Well done, sir. Um, oh man, cursed short swords are not that good. But we have something that can hit ghosts now. Oh hey, thanks for subscribing. Find a short sword. What hard mode is being good to old the old final gamer. Yeah, yeah, exactly, chat. Get back to me when they make a final mode. I'll, like, as everyone can see, I am clearly bodying 
fear and hunger is uh fear and hunger is hard mode like this is this is this is no 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 difficulty at all oh we can go up and get kara He ain't in there. That's a bit odd. Mm. Ah, shite. Oh, wait, no, I, I know how to take these dudes down. Um, Zahn, how I beat Crow Mauler. I got a cursed sword, then got... Um, mm, then got purified... Then I got... Then... Then got then got the purified eastern sword after killing the ghost. Then I got a party member. Then faced him. Threw a red vial at his face. Then he... Then crit his chest. So it takes a lot of luck. Okay. Zone, I appreciate that. That is not the correct strats. That is getting super lucky, my friend. Like, fair play. But, yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot to guard. Oh! I live? Ah, oh, shit. So now he's gonna take a step closer. And then we auto guard. This is how I beat ogres now. And now he's gonna take a step closer. Oh shit. And we auto guard and boom, take out his head. Good night. And luckily, we got a bunch of healing items early on so we can bounce back from that pretty handy. Let's not devour him straight away. Let's search him. We find a meat pie and moldy bread. That's that's a good find. And now we eat him up. Okay, nothing in there either. Interesting. Okay. Um. Yes, I do know about Empty Scrolls. Empty Scrolls was one of the biggest what the fuck moments for me. That was when I was like, oh, this game is just completely insane. Um, that's one of the things I didn't want to talk about it in the video because I just want to let people find that shit for themselves And then a bunch of people were like you don't even know about empty scrolls. And it's like no, I I just want to oh. oh We got a captain up there. That sucks uh, Blue vial god damn we are getting good good items Explosive vial nice Tomato, useful, leather helmet. Okay, let me see if I can see that guy. His back is facing, now he's facing us. And his back is facing, let's go. Nice. Shit. Okay, we're good, we're all good. Has your opinion or thoughts changed on the game since making the video, and do you plan on and play, play the second one? Um, I would say, honestly, my opinion has only really- Whoa! Oh! Um, ah, we can take him. My opinion has only really grown uh, on this game. I, I think this is an absolutely fantastic game, and, like, even just, like, getting to the point now where I can- where I have beaten it for reals. Oh shit, should I? Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Um, Like, just learning, like, the increased depths and the increased strategy of it gives me just, like, a better, like, even deeper appreciation of it. Like, I, I think it's an absolute fucking masterpiece. Like, like, okay, it's it's got its flaws. You know, like, it's kind of buggy and there's some stuff that's kind of a pain. But overall, I just think it is such a fantastic game. Like, just a real, a real crazy, like, crazy piece of game design. 
Zephus, would you compare this game to Dark Souls in the way that it gets better? Um, way much get better? Only in the most basic sense, because I feel like Dark Souls, you are getting better at it. I think it's a lot of muscle memory, and that's not, I'm not saying that's better or worse, but like, with a lot of bosses in Dark Souls, oh shit, I should have searched him. Fuck. With a lot of bosses in Dark Souls, you couldn't really, I couldn't really tell you how I beat them, except that, like, I'd get better at the predicting their animations and, like, what to do in each scenario. With Fear and Hunger, I could sit down and explain to you every single, like, strat and the way to beat every, every single thing. And I'm not saying, like, one is good and one is bad. They're, they're just, that is just what they both are. It's a different kind of memory, for sure. Both amazing games. Like, they're both hard. And they're both games that, like, you basically have no chance of beating on your first run, like, with, without dying. So, they're they're similar like that, but I don't think that they're, like, um, I don't think they're overly similar. Outside, like, the, the widest possible kind of philosophy. Damn. So far, I gotta say, not noticing anything too difficult. Um, I will head down to the caves and grab Moonless. Do I have the items to get Moonless? Yes, I do. We have been very lucky. Oh, this is a bit of a different dungeon layout than I'm used to for the caves. Hey, Moonless buddy. Yeah, fuck you, Pockets Cat. I'm gonna take all your shit, because I hate you. Damn it. I'm gonna get infected, and I don't have any- No, I do, so I'm okay. It's like, infection was a big thing for me for ages, because like, I didn't know about the, the salmon snake stole, but then like, I learned that that- I, I learned how to deal with that, and that was like, that was one of the- that was one of the like, big step forwards in like, the- like, literally 400 pieces of small information you'd need to know to overcome this game. Hey, buddy. Moonless doesn't oh, hey, accept your rotten meat. She seems to get just more furious at your offerings. What? Bungus Dongus, thank you for the subscription, but what? No, hard mode, no party members, except zombies and scare. What? Oh no, Moonless! Chat, this is not like a laughing thing. This is not funny. This is serious! We gotta kill our girl. So just, no party members. How? How? God damn it. Uh, chat, new rule. Um, no laughing at me. At all. Uh, I'm dead serious here. Uh, that's it, that's it. Moonless is, is so nice and cool. I'm not devouring Moonless. She doesn't. She doesn't even attack on hard mode. She she won't even do that. Okay. Well. Fuck. Okay. I I don't know the best way to progress. Restart. You need a party for the game to be fun. Let's let this run. Let's ride this run out and see where it goes. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, you can't get the girl. I guess not. You ever do the pen and side quest? We yeah, we did once on stream. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god. I don't know why I did that. Oh. Uh, please everyone remember my uh, rule about no laughing. See, the sensor mod chose to keep this bit in. Cool. Well, chat, if ever there was a time for this song, it's now. Okay, can we, can we just, like, admit for a second that that song is legitimate fucking banger. Like, it's just a great song. It's just a great song. At least this will be a quick video to make for YouTube. <laughs> Hard mode is for S endings. Man, I can't even imagine the strategies to beat hard mode. Like, okay, chat. The way I measure it, we still got a little time here. So, um, tell you what. I'm going to start a new game. And we're going to start the ending A. Skeletons. That's the one strategy I saw. That could work. John. Cena. John Cena is going to beat Fear and Hunger. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Nice. Good stuff. Mm. We get a bear trap, but I don't know that we need a bear trap. Wait, if we rush, we can get dash, can't we? What the? No rush? No dash? Only if you don't take stuff. Weird. Okay, uh, no great loss. Cursed Iron Mace. Oh my god. Oh, that is a good find. Oh, chat. We're rolling. We're rolling. That just negated the need for an explosive vial. Um, I want to get to Lagarde alive because I want to kill him. Dried meat, holy shit. Um, in a starting barrel, I know, that's crazy. 95% of the time, barrels contain, like, food. Oh, chat, I'm so psyched I beat that fucking octopus in Griffith. Oh, that was so tense. That was genuinely so tense. Probably one of my favorite moments ever on stream. I... Oh, and the salvation was just coming as well, but we weren't sure when. We're like, well, I, I'm pretty sure I knew, but... Oh my god, I cannot believe we did that. That was so fun. 
I have really, really been getting a kick out of doing these streams, I gotta say. Um, have you beaten the second game? Matthew Player... Player... Brr? I have not even played the, the second game. Well, I, I I played like a couple of seconds of it. Um, I played a I played like a minute or two of it for just to get footage for it in the video. Oh, and looky. Okay, this is what I hate about these things. They, if they get a good run, they can actually shred your health. There he goes. John Cena was victorious. Um, was not ideal the amount of health I lost there. Yeah, the fact that Moonless made it out of that dungeon alive is the craziest part. Um, do you know the next steps for the next endings? Yeah, I have a rough idea. I, I think I have a pretty decent idea of how to get the next ones. Oh. So I think actually with the cursed mace, we don't we shouldn't even have to use the small key. I think we can just smash this. Hell yeah. Two carrots, cool. Um, can you even get the girl for so if I'm not mistaken, um, have you seen the Arya Star movie, Bo is Afraid? I have not. Um, I know you need the girl for these endings, but I know... I know giving her the doll makes a big difference. Um, heard a lot of people don't like Bo is Afraid as much. Yeah, and that's okay, because I think... I think he was going a bit wild with that one. Like, I think he kind of expected that. Oh god, which suck. Um, no, ending A in hard mode. Uh. <laughs> Gummy burr, did you find a pair of lagards for your legs? That's good, that's quality. Cool, cool. Um, after constantly talking about what a useless resource silver coins were, they were absolutely the things that saved me on the last run. If I didn't have those silver coins, I wouldn't have been able to get the health items, and I wouldn't have helped, had enough health to get past um, to get past Sil uh, Sylvian. Uh, I will probably look up non-spoiler like non-spoiler guides on the ending because I don't want to fuck it up. But I, ha I think right now I have a fair idea. I know that we need to get the girl. Nice. Are you going to save Bookman, Jenny, Jenna, and Cyril? Um, yeah, I think I will, probably. Although, the the last one, the night you find in the ancient city, uh, that, that quest just straight up doesn't trigger for me sometimes. And I don't know what the deal is there. Whoa! Okay, that was close. Red vial, nice. And what film? What Gib Ghibli films have you seen? And what is your favorite? I have seen them all. Spirited Away is my favorite. Close second, Princess Milan. Okay, I know they're the boring choices. I don't care. I love them deeply. Number three. Maybe Pompoko, which or not Pompoko, sorry, I always get those confused. Throwing dart. Okay, we have completed our Crow Mauler Annihilation Kit. Um Porco Rosso is my number three. 
I really want to watch Hell's Moving Castle again, though. Um, uh, okay, I, I wasn't looking at the chat and I see a bunch of people. I say that because I didn't like Hell's Moving Castle when I saw it first. I, I, I just was not into it, but I know a lot of people love it. Tale of Princess Kaguya. I think the first, like, 30 minutes of Tale of Princess Kaguya rules, I think it's kind of boring after that. Ah, God damn it. And I know that's a sacrilegious take, but yeah. blow my last look of coin and Legards. Legards! I got my Legards! And let me tell you, they're the only Legards we're getting this one run if you know what I'm saying. Oh, Grave of the Fireflies, actually. That's probably my number three. Uh, God, that is some film. Horrible film. Never want to watch it again. Amazing film. Love it. Um, how come we aren't streaming the sequel? Because we're streaming this one. Because I want to get all the endings in this one. Because I love this game. John Cena is starting to feel hungry. Uh, okay. I think we can all see that I have clearly found a way to make every single notification in this hilarious. Use a red vial. No, I think I'm just gonna go kill the guard captain and get that. Hey John, I can't see your character. What's up with that? There's no I don't know. It's just key just it's just happened the entire time. Pretty lucky with ogre placements so far, which always makes me worried. Glycerin powder, cheese. Torch, nice. Oh, no, I. No, it looks okay. Sometimes this can be the cursed ogre room. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go. There we go. Now, guard on the next turn. Boom. Now smash his dick off or his pine cone off. Good stuff. I think it's the next turn he attacks on, but just want to be sure. Oh, no, it was that turn. Oh, God damn it. Just being very careful here. Playing some Justin Wong type fighting. This takes a while, but it's 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 how you take no damage from guards. Just in case. Down he goes. Perfect. Five silver coins. Awesome. I don't think I see any elite there. I have a little bit of glare here because I have a light on. Blue vial. Cool. This is a solid run so far. Solid, solid run. Okay, the flag. Always tear the flag. Boxes, nice, nice, nice. Hey, um, how much items we got? We got two rotten meats. That's enough to get. That's enough to get our boy moonless or our girl moonless. But let's go grab Kara or Kahara. I don't know. Absolutely loved your backy video. Have you uh, read through Dorhe Odorho? Um, not. I watched the anime and I read a bit of the manga, but I didn't get that far. I need to go back to it. 
is better the art gets so good um yeah no like i i, I will i will definitely check out the manga at some point because i did i did really really enjoy um the anime and like just what a fucking cool it was the characters ultimately like, like i really loved those guys Damn. we should be we should have enough to kill these yeah noi is amazing i mean they're all amazing you know, they're they're such they're such cool people. I just wanna like they're so violent and they're kinda horrible. I just wanna hang out with them, you know? Missing a blue vial. It must have been stolen. That's okay. But how much torches do we have? Ah, we we have enough ingredients. We're fine. Have you tried teaching your party members flash? I know I've never come across that. You went back to Terran Starvation. Yeah, um, I'm not super, like, if the only difference between Terra Starvation, uh, Hard and Terran Starvation is you can't get party members, that's fun, but, like, eh. I'm, I might do a run of it at some point. Just freeing the mercenary trick or something later on. Yeah, in the mines, you can recruit him for reals this time. Oh, I love Moonless. Have you read Fire Punch? I have read Fire Punch. In fact, if you go back to my channel, I'm going to say it was in 20... Maybe 2020 that I did a little bit on Fire Punch in a Favorite Things video. So I, I really liked Fire Punch. Great manga. Um, what if they collaborate with Fan Gamer to make a Moonless plushie? I would, I would be down for a Moonless plushie. I would be happy. I want that Crow Mauler plushie. That's what I want. That's oh chat. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you what, let me tell you what old John, what the old final gamer would do for a Crow Mauler plushie. Virus Jones, see John, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you in Fear and Hunger. I'm guessing like 20% of the chat's gonna get that, but it's a good joke. Um, ambush it. I'm just gonna kill this dude. You gonna try and recruit Nashra? Um, actually, Nashra would be good to have this run because I know he can't follow you into the void, but I think he can follow you into wherever we're going after this. The final area of this run, I have never been, and I don't know what bosses are there, and I. Yeah, I, 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 I am, I am clueless. I will just torso him. bed um, I tried Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a few weeks but COVID happened and I haven't been able to go back since um, is it even possible to practice some of these moves without a partner honestly not really um, pretty much oh, we can take guard with with Jiu Jitsu like you need to be training with someone and more importantly you need to be tr you need to be like Someone actually has to be, be like trying to fight you for that shit to work. Um, I don't like you can. There's movements you can practice, but if you don't have a whole lot of experience with like uh, rolling and grappling and stuff, it's kind of. I think it's kind of maybe a bit of a waste, unfortunately. So yeah, I think you just got to get back to the the training if it's if it's something you want to get into. And. 
There's a knee drill you can do. Oh, nice, Moonless. Very nice. There's a knee drill you can do where it's like you're kind of practicing the, no the motion of a single leg. I've seen some people get really, really good at that drill and then they can single leg like absolute motherfuckers. little careful here because I know the floor can collapse at a certain point. In some layouts you can pass through that bottom room but I'm guessing not on this one. And I'm also going to stick to the wall here because I know there's a hole around here and I don't want to fall down it. I don't think we ever checked out this part, this thing. Um, this is the homunculus. The Hydra. Uh, this thing does absolutely nothing, as far as I'm aware. It's a completely useless thing, and you can the only um, the only like use for this thing is if you have like a healing necklace, you can come here, fight this thing, and just heal up and then run away. It's also an incredible design. Grab some stuff. Actually, we'll be back there later. Let's beat up these nerds. Yeah, that Hydra design is very Uzumaki-ish, all right. Purifying Talisman, nice, that's good. Where the remains of the dead priest, uh, yeah. Soul Stone, nice. Have you read the webtoon for a leaf? Oh. Whoa, shit! Run, 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 run! Oh my god. Oh my god. That was bad. Oh. Oh, all the adrenaline in my body. Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone. Never read chat again. That's a good idea. Oh, shit. Mm. I know. I think the scratch is the, the way this guy scratches and can, can inflict. Yeah. Nice. Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing. Uh, broke, broken hyperlink um, has a resubscribe for 20 more, 24 months in a row. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Witches from Four Leaf are on their way to end you. The witches from Four Leaf. Someone sell me on Four Leaf. Let me let me let me hear what it's about. Moonless is infected. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Creation of life. Yeah, actually, I would like to get. I would like to figure out the creation of life stuff because I've never done it. Long studies with the black growth hormone finally produced some results. We know what that are. The black liquid has proven to be very potent in my previous research, but this is a new discovery unlike anything I expected. A mixture of human blood has created a new artificial life form. The results are a tiny fetus with human features. It's breathing lightly and seems to be in constant agony. 
The life form is ever so hungry, but no matter how much nourishment they give it, there is no visible growth. I am doing experiments with different sources of food, but nothing seems to work. As if it's miserable being destined forever to remain in a state of constant agony. The appetite is nothing short of astonishing, but it produces no growth. I killed a child. It had no purpose in this world. I am questioning whether we as humans were ever meant to create artificial life. I must once again study the teachings of the older gods to attain such miracles. Interesting. Have you played Rain World? I actually have it downloaded. Monaco, cool. This file, cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving Rain World a shot for sure. Sometimes no, okay. Oh god damn it, I was looking at the chat again. Ah, yeah. uh, we can take this dude. Little girl, you just you just be careful, sweetheart. Got him. Oh, good girl, Moonless. Uh, we're not going to think about what just happened. We're just not going to address that at all. You could do favorite. Cool, we're just gonna do a little scout around to clear out this floor. I'm just starting to feel hungry. Moonless is cool because he's like a little dumpster you can just toss all your rotten food into. John Cena eating people in front of a little girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he loves kids. He's he's done so many Wake Make a Wish foundations. John Cena is such a strange dude. If you ever see him or in interviews or anything, I just feel like he has this weird like I don't know, it's it's like reverse karma or something like that. I, I find it very difficult to describe. Something just came in from the what? Huh. Interesting. Have you finished Mistborn? Yeah, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad people kept telling me about that guy, because yep, that Miss Mistborn was fun. Weren't you going to get Lagarde? Um yes. But if I miss him, it's no big deal. Ooh. Actually, I might not even bother trying to get Lagarde. I think it's it's okay if we miss him. Because I'd rather just take my time. I'm glad we're at the point now where guards aren't even, like, scary. He said moments before a guard annihilated him. Oh! Moonless! You little treasure! I'm so glad we got Moonless out alive on that last run. Let's show some love to grow growth. Um, you should play Rain World. It got massive DLC. Really? Huh. Um, did Matthew Matosis do a video on Rain Worlds a couple of years ago or something? Uh, 
Um, do we have anything worth cursing yet? No, I don't think we do. Okay, we're gonna hold off on that for- That was scary. That was quite scary. Excuse me. Oh, blood and flower magic. So with books. Excuse me. Um, it's only scrolls that you can teach to specific characters, isn't it? Books you can't teach to specific characters. That's always going to be your main character. Blue herb, blue herb. Nice, nice, nice. Small key. Cool. Uh, we have Dark Priest here. Now, we can talk to Dark Priest a little bit, but if we talk to him too much... So I think that's all we can talk to him, and if we talk to him more than that, then that means that he will not join us later on, which is very funny, I think. carry tiny spores in it. Kill Isaiah for his masks. It protects you from the crow mall or blind attacks. That's nuts, really? Interesting. It's crazy to me that, like, I don't know how many arrows of this game I've played. It's I would say it's got to be close to 100 at this point, and I am still learning new shit all the time. I think we're gonna try and make our way through here. Oh shit, we have no explosive vial. Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't know that we've lost enough health to really use the bunnies. Okay, let's just head down to the mines. I'm just gonna grab some stuff up here. Just uh, perfectly normal. And uh, for any anyone who's a part of my Patreon, my uncensored fear and hunger video is up there. Well, no, it's the dicks are still censored, but I have an entire paragraph about how cool I think what happens in this field is um because that was that that is one of the best moments of fear and hunger if you are playing that game uncensored if you're playing the game uncensored uh, for people who don't know there is a cult of people all in bunny masks uh enjoying each other and it is really something i saw that paragraph pre-edit you you were you sound like a notification person <laughs> Like, you you were in there early, I'm guessing. Although, no, that was up for a day or two, wasn't it? I think so. Man, one of the fucking just, like, most... I don't want to say painful, but one of the most, like... I hate this fucking platform with YouTube was, like, I, look, I looked into... I, I looked... I, I posted my Fear and Hunger video, went to bed, looked the next morning, 300,000 views... And I was like, oh my god, that is the most amount of views a video has ever gotten in such a short amount of time. I was like, I can't believe this video is doing that numbers. Check the monetization, demonetized. And 
that means like a lot of those views I wouldn't have got nothing for, which is like, you know, I don't want to complain about that stuff because I'm very, very lucky on YouTube and I get that. But oh, the just, just all that money just like floating away. It was, that was a rough one. Same with the Roman Reigns video. Roman Reigns video did crazy, crazy well. Um, I think that video has like nearly like, I think that video is like at around 800,000 views or something like that now, which is crazy for a wrestling video. Uh, I will not get one cent for it because WWE have copyright claimed it. But like, that doesn't affect my ability to do this job. Like, because, you know, I do do well on YouTube and like I do have a really strong supporting on Patreon and everything, which again, just to say, super grateful for. But, um, you know, it's just, it's a pain when you're like, that is, that is a lot of money. Just, uh, just to watch it broke a million. That's crazy. Fucking hell. I would not have expected that video to break a million views in like, like a month or something. Um, how much does 800k earn you? Honestly, I don't know. It depends on a lot of different factors, including like what the video is actually about, what kind of ads it's, but I think 800k it's over a grand, I'd say. Um, I couldn't tell you how much because I genuinely don't just don't pay that much attention to that stuff, except when a video gets demonetized and I'm like, oh, no money there, I guess. I've watched the wrestling video five times already. I do hear people say that a lot. They're like, I have watched that video so many times, which is really cool. No, you don't. Um, okay, I think I am going to, I think I'm going to talk to this guy, but I just want to take his arms out first. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, bad, bad. No, don't do that. Oh, thank God. Oh my god. Okay, let's just talk to him and kill him. Uh, what is your origin? Which gods do you serve? I channel destruction. Isn't it so obvious? Grow growth. Correct. You are not completely misguided. Sir, can you teach me about real growth? I'm not a level to pass on knowledge of me. Seek it, the master, Nashra of the East, if you desire to learn more. Here, if you are to survive my blood magic, show this talisman to my master and um, and show great humility. He might just listen to you. Friends, the good Lord giveth, and the good Lord taketh away. Our God is fear and hunger, and that is what has just happened. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, look guys, I will see you all next week for another fear and hunger stream. We're going for ending A. Thank you all so much for joining me. Have a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I did. Love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.